Ready? All right. So today we're going to be talking about Lil Xan, this whole crazy situation around him. But first, I just want to say that if you're in London, uh, we're going to be at XOYO Fest July 8th through the 10th. No, after XOYO, we're going to be doing some shows in London, the 8th through the 10th. AJ Tracy, M. Huncho, and Bexy are headliners. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of openers and stuff. So super excited about this. London, if you're anywhere in England, come out. If you're anywhere in Europe, hop on a fucking plane. Let's go. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how I feel about Lil Xan, if I think he's losing it, what exactly the situation is. Um, I was talking about this just the other day on the Crook's Corner podcast. He was asking me what I thought about this whole Lil Xan thing. And I gave him my thoughts, but there's been a few more developments in the case. So I figure... Why not? Let's just talk about it. Um, before that, I just want to say, drop a like, drop a comment. It means a lot. Helps a lot. I hate when I see people who get like much higher like percentages than me. So I'm going to do the Phil DeFranco thing and say, if you don't like this video, I'm going to throat punch you. Actually, no. I don't want to say what, what Phil DeFranco says. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to say, I would love you more. If you liked and commented on this video. Okay, Lil Xan brought gun to photo shoot that looks eerily similar to gas station weapon. Okay, and to, to kind of summarize what I was saying on the Crook's Corner podcast when I was uh, talking about uh, this Lil Xan thing. And by the way, I'm just realizing that the chat is actually on screen for this upload. So uh, shout out to the chat and whatever stupid stuff they're saying is far more legendary now because they know it's going to be uploaded to the channel and it's not just going to only exist temporarily in space. It's actually going to last, I guess. Anyway, I was saying what I always say about Lil Xan when people ask me about him, I say, yes, it seems as if he has a drug problem. I think it's unfortunate. I think that when he's at his best, Lil Xan is a star, you know, like the fact that so many people are going to click on this video is proof of the fact that Lozanne is a star people love him but you know he's got a drug problem and uh I think it's the painkillers mostly he's like taking Norcos and shit uh I don't think it's the Zans so much I don't know if he really does Zans like that but you know it's obvious to me that you know he's not really operating at his full potential I don't really put the blame on him I know that he was like given drugs as a young kid and stuff and I feel for him but yeah you know when you're getting fucked up weird shit starts happening and when the clip came out of him uh brandishing the firearm uh you know on one hand it's kind of weird because everybody who watched it seemed like they wanted to sort of have this um reaction where they're just acting like Lozan is just tweaking like he's a crazy person that sort of thing we know a ton of people who carry guns right like all kinds of people who carry guns Myself, no, but all kinds of people. And to be honest, we don't think it's bad. We don't like look down on our friends who carry guns. We think it's normal that somebody would want to carry a gun for protection. Lil Xan carrying his own gun instead of uh, maybe having somebody with him carrying a gun would be a much better idea. Apparently, he's being investigated for this assault, uh, for, for brandishing the pistol. Uh, by the way, shout out to the fucking snitch who uploaded that video. What a piece of shit. Um, but anyway... Lil Xan's being investigated for brandishing a pistol. I'm just saying there's a little bit of a double standard because, okay, let's say that it was fucking G Herbo and that same exact video came out of G Herbo pulling out a gun and saying blah, blah, blah. What would people be saying? Not much. They wouldn't be acting like G Herbo was tweaking, right? I don't know. I don't know if it's a fair comparison or not, but uh, everybody wants to like use that against Xan and act like he's just totally losing his mind. Let's look at the new uh, investigation, the new news out there. They're saying uh, there might be more evidence against Lil Xan after the LAPD continues to investigate him for pulling a gun at a gas station. Um, a few weeks ago, someone pulled up on him to confront him over his statements about Tupac, which resulted in Xan pulling out a gun. But that same gun that he brandished during the confrontation may also have been pulled out on camera earlier this year. According to TMZ, Lil Xan pulled that gun out of the blue during a photo shoot in January. The tabloid publication <clears throat> obtained pictures of the rapper holding the gun in numerous photo shoots to show it off while on set. <coughs> Sources that were close to the situation said that there was no plan 
to have a gun in the middle of the shoot. He alleges he just brought it with him and surprised everyone that was on set when he decided to brandish it. Everyone on set believed it was real, but Lil Xan himself was never actually concerned if it uh, confirmed if it was. The rapper is currently under investigation by the LAPD for the incident at the gas station. The rapper could be charged with a felony count of assault with a deadly weapon that carries a maximum four-year sentence. Following the, the incident, Lozanne took to Instagram in an attempt to clear the air. The media is going to twist, try and twist what happened at a gas station. He wrote, "It was a, I was about to be attacked and resorted to having to use self-defense. So, of course, Lozanne is going to say that, uh, regardless of how much truth there might be to it, uh, not not a hundred percent sure. What is it? Zangxiety. No story. Damn, no story. That's harsh. This kid always has a story. Album mode. I don't care if you like my new music or not. I make it for me and my fans. And he turns the comments off. Interesting. Lil Xan. No, no. Well, I guess he does have comments on for this one. But man, that 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 Instagram engagement is. It's not what it used to be. Eh, you know, he could still get 200, 300,000 likes on a shitty-ass photo. I guess that's not bad, right? Whatever. Um, Regardless, I'm just saying that I feel for Lil Xan because I do believe him that he thought he was about to be attacked in that scenario or he was at least, you know, fearing for his life to some extent. And that's why I pulled the gun out. And I do think it's a bit of a double standard that everybody's acting like he's tweaking because he pulled the gun out. Uh, would you not maybe do the same thing if you were this tiny little kid? He's so little. That's part of the problem. That's what people aren't thinking about is that he's a little motherfucker. It's like, I, I mean, he says he can scrap. I mean, also, there's a good chance that he was maybe not 100% sober at the time, which is kind of a, a complicator in the situation. Because, let's be real, if he were to have gotten caught up with a gun and a bunch of drugs on him, or if they just like showed that he was on drugs, that might not be a pretty scenario. So, I don't know. But, I mean, regardless, I think people who are acting like Lil Xan's totally out of control, I don't know. To me, I always kind of see him going back and forth between doing what he's doing now, where it seems like he's kind of like withdrawing from Instagram a little bit, and maybe... Uh, trying to like take himself out of that super super public lifestyle and he's kind of trying to pull back a little bit and maybe uh you know not be so involved in what's going on on instagram and stuff the problem with his shit is that his whole lifestyle is just so like akin to like allowing him to indulge his worst uh instincts like i saw what happened when selena powell showed up at the podcast and she saw she locked eyes on him and she just immediately was just she was just so ready to fuck this dude and he you know this dude is a real pussy addict that's part of the problem i think is that lil zan i mean as soon as selena showed up he was just like oh damn like he was so down and he just i think like having so much pussy available to him he's just got a really hard time sort of you know turning it down or like living a more easy going life you know he just tends to like not have a lot of self-control when it comes to giving in to drugs or girls or whatever and you know i can't blame him because you know we're, we've all been there we all we all know what it's like to like you know want to fuck all the random ass hoes that try to bang you right i mean i i totally know where he's coming from of course you want to give into it but i mean with him it seems like i don't know it sort of like spins out of control Sort of quickly. God, I hate that I'm psychoanalyzing him this hard and that he's just going to see this and just be like, Adam, why are you talking about me? But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like with him, his his simple pleasures become guilty pleasures quickly. Like, he, he kind of, like, has to overindulge, if you know what I mean. Does anybody kind of understand what I'm saying? Uh, I'm looking at the comments now. Poor Lil Xan, drowning in pussy. I feel so sorry for him, Alameo. <laughs> okay. I hear that. You know, yeah. Fair enough. He's drowning in pussy. But the, I've really, I've seen it. It's pretty crazy. Um, Adam22 is the epitome of health. I agree with that completely. Am I seeing the comments at the same time that they're on screen? That's a good question. Zan pulled out the blicky. Yup. He did. 
And now we're gonna hang out with him more. We gotta we gotta like keep little Zan around now that we know that he's a shooter. Um anyone know how to get Adam to notice you? You got a tip or something? Well, we are on live stream and I play songs for a hundred bucks. So if you want to get your song played or get noticed in that sense, I'm here. I'm right here. And I'm about to light this blunt. So if anyone enjoyed this video about Lil Xan, please drop a like. And I'll see you soon.